Welcome back to Open Country, everyone. We have got to go and fix a bridge. That's what we're going to do. As you can see, I have gotten rid of the wonderful parasites. I went around, collected some water, made a few changes. We've got the scope on the gun now. I bought the proper one. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've done some bits off screen to get ourselves sorted. I should really try and kill some elk, I suppose, but seeing as how they're in the vicinity. But we have got a job to do. We've got to fix this bridge. So we've got to go to the cave first to pick up some resources, if I remember correctly, which apparently have been left there by Nancy, I believe it was. And it shouldn't be too far away, he says. Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha ha he he. I don't know. I'm just making it up as we go. So, including this mission, I believe we have nine missions to do so we're here apparently I don't think we are I think it's further up oh, it appears to go backwards better than it goes forwards <coughs> I will find this cave and I'll kick you back in No, I won't, because this is the cave. This is the one I found the other day. So, these glowing things, I think, are collectibles. I just want to check it out, because if it is, then... Yes, found collectibles. You can view them back at Snow Ridge Lodge. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Right. Bridge supplies. Take them because apparently we can carry that. <laughs> Steel cable. Yeah, probably going to need that. Seeing as how it's glowing. Now, apparently, there is a way that you can make all the glowable things glow all in one go. And I can't find the button to do it. Says I need to replenish my needs before I can do that. Let's uh, let's give it some of that. Let's give it some of this, and then let's see if it allows us to do anything of the sort. No, nope. I don't know what that means then. Maybe I need to rest more. Who knows? Where are we going now? What was the objective? Gather the bridge repair supplies. Sure, I just did, didn't I? Is there any more here? Oh, maybe there's some up there that I didn't notice. There we go. Go to Daggett Bridge. That was nicely hidden away from me, wasn't it? Thank you very much. So, Dagger Bridge. Let's have a look on the map. Map. Wherefore out now, Dagger Bridge? Nope. That's not it, that's Hunter's Forest. I don't know why that's glowing, but it is. Probably from something else that it thinks that I should have done. There's a bridge. No, that's Kyrian's extent. Oh. No, that's the Prospector's Village.
Oh, there it is. Good grief. Couldn't see it for looking. Where are we then? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Let's go back there, down that track, and then we're there. Cool beans. The snow is really... kicking off. It won't take us long, but I'll get us to <laughs> tree. I'll get us there, and then we'll save us a bit of time. Here is the bridge. <sighs> right. What are we going to do? You are near Taggart Bridge. Fix the broken bridge. How do we do this? E. Sounds like an episode of Down on the Farm. <laughs> Return to Gary. We can do this. We can do this. He'd get his supplies back to town now. Whatever supplies. What were they? Computer stuff, books, files. Stuff. How are we going to get back up there? Is it possible or is it impossible? It's an impossible. It's an impossibility. Is there a way round then, or have we got a one? I don't think they're going to appreciate me leaving their snowmobile. I will get us there. And like a mad genius, we arrive back at the RV because that's how we roll. I think that can stay there. Right. Flash travel. Back to Snow Ridge Lodge. <clears throat> Let's see what Mr. Gary has got to say for himself. Well, I'm back. Job done. I know. The supplier called and he said he just passed the bridge. That is awesome work he did. And riding the nick of time, too. Well, that's nice to hear. I hope it's not too heavy for the bridge to handle. Nah. Wind is a huge problem. It can handle the weight. It's okay. Well, that's a big relief. Here, for your trouble. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm off. I'll see you around. You bet. There we have it. Wow, 400 bucks. He's starting to pay us the money we deserve. Right, who we got? What have we got? Hello. We don't need to trade with her. Uh, what are these guys going to say? Anything? Got nothing to say. Hello okay. there. Let's go out and wait for a CB call because I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Uh, where should we go? Let's go. Let's go, yeah, let's go to Tunnels Valley. Mountain Pass Cabin. Quite like it there. Don't know why. Just do. Let's see what happens then. Oh. There we go, isn't it? Now we don't want that. Have a drink of this. Hey, um, box shot. Got a minute? Hey, um, box shot. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? I have a situation with the ranger. Did he confess his feelings for you? What? No! Shut up and listen. There's this eccentric stockbroker from the big city who paid the ranger a visit at his office. And? This guy has just donated a huge sum of money to the area for animal conservation purposes. Some like fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen grand? 
I understand rich folk having lots of cash to throw at things, but this is ridiculous. Generous, but ridiculous. Yes, it is. In return for the grand gesture, Ranger wants to give him two mountain goat horns. He asked me if I had any in stock, but I sold the last pair a few days ago. If you ask me, that guy's the goat. What? You know, greatest of all time, goat, because of his generosity? Okay, okay, I get it. But I still don't understand why someone would just donate out of nowhere to someone he doesn't know. Whatever floats his boat. You'll click with generosity someday, Nancy. Now, I presume you want me to hunt goats to get their horns, so point me in the right direction. I know about a bear near O'Malley's Valley. After you down them, come meet me at the lodge. Okay, no time to lose then. I'm going for the goats. Good luck, Buckshot. Over and out. There we go then. We are going to collect some horns from some goats. We've collected some water from the water barrel. And where is that? It's in Snow Ridge. What a surprise. Head to the O'Malley Valley in Snow Ridge. <coughs> Let's, uh, we know that we've got a fair few bushes and stuff here. I don't know why it won't let me do that. It's very annoying. I don't want to roll. Right then. Well, headeth back. Oh, what's that? Leaves? Leaves or bush? Oh, I'll be done with leaves. I've already got leaves. Pick some up just a minute ago. Branch, branch. No, okay. Let's head to back to Snow Ridge then. Hurrah! I'm sure we only got one one place to go to here. Um Okay, let's just do it. Ooh. It's daylight. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to... Actually, we've got to save here. Save getting my sleeping bag out. So I've changed the tent for the sleeping bag because the tent is lighter. Uh, no, that was wrong. Because the sleeping bag is lighter. And... I'm trying to save weight. If you've ever noticed, we always end up being overweight. Hold on, head to the O'Malley Valley in Snow Ridge. It's going to be a million miles away, isn't it? Hmm. Vorist. Das Valley. That's not it. Okay, where is it then? Oh, there it is. Uh, follow that track. Where are we? Follow. Oh, come on. How did we end up down there? Glitch, glitch, glitch. Right, there we go. Follow that, down there, follow that, over the bridge that we fixed. Okay. I shall skip us there because it will be quite a journey. So. Hold your boots. We'll be there in a second. Right, we have just discovered 
walk up cabin We've got all sorts of stuff here lots of loot to be had but we're not here for that I'm not going to collect any of it I might collect it on the way back and get the Barbary now it's not that far down here according to the map but I'm not going to go on the snowmobile because it's too noisy and it's likely going to scare off our goats. And last time we did something for Nancy, we were looking for goats and we couldn't find them. They were a million miles away from where it was actually said they were supposed to be. So I'm not feeling... 100% confident that we're going to find them straight off the bat and I'm probably going to have to cut out cut back in until we actually do find them I'm expecting a bit of a search look for signs of mountain goats oh, we, oh there's a track there read the track extremely fresh Heading west. Tracks. Extremely fresh. Heading west. Let's keep reading these then. go into sneak mode See no goats yet. We do still have tracks there. Looks like we've got some droppings as well now. Yeah. Where's the track go? Alright, let's go back. hear it <clears throat> I do not see it uh, I think I spooked him away ha <laughs> ha genius Genius. Nancy, are you there? Go ahead, Buckshot. Good news? Yeah, I got the horns. Are you at the lodge? Yeah, I'm here already. I'll be waiting for you. Great. See you there. Over and out. Outstanding. Well... They died instantly. I wonder if the scope is uh, that much of a help. You know, the game is probably thinking to itself, he's not using the scope, so he's missing. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get back to the snowmobile. Um, in fact, I'll get back to the RV, and then we'll do our business, because obviously we're grossly overweight. It's going to take me about three hours to get back to the snowmobile as it is. Yeah, that was successful. Let's get on with it then. Right, we're pretty heavy. I shot a load of stuff. 
<laughs> I shot a load more stuff whilst I was walking back just because I could and picked it up just because I could and we're not that far away from the RV it's just there where that light is so we'll get there and then we'll head back see Nancy that should be our oh I wonder if I can get them or they run away did they run away What are they doing? Come. Back to the lodge. I think I heard them. I think I heard them. <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> oh no, Nancy, wasn't it? You could not arrive at a better time. Ranger told me the broker guy got back to the ranger's office. Turns out he doesn't want the horns because he didn't donate to get something in return. So what about the horns now? He'll take them, but he's not going to keep them. He's going to auction them and then donate the proceeds to this area again. Wow, a serial donor. Ranger said that the conservation budget is enough for 10 endangered species for an entire year just from the first donation. And the horns bring even bigger cash at auctions, maybe even double the budget with the first donation. Indeed. Here, Ranger said to give you this. It's well worth the effort. Oh, thanks. And I'll thank Ranger when I see him, too. I'll see you around. Sure thing, Bugshot. 400 bucks. That doesn't seem to make any sense. The money they're giving me. <laughs> yeah, bad business, I think. Bad business. Right. Um, what we're going to do whilst we're here is we're going to sell from my backpack. Uh, that. So all of this actually. That, 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 that. We'll keep that for bandages. Hey. Just in case. The ranger is over there. Hello. He doesn't want to talk. She said hello. hello. They don't want to talk. Wow, he's been sinking them. Jerry, you've been sinking the beers. Gary, you're a legend. Right, that is the end of the episode. I have no idea what we're moving on to next. But that's two down from nine. So that leaves us with 32. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Leaves us with seven, doesn't it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And may the weather be with you.